The Earth was formed more than 4.5 billion years ago, and since then it has been constantly struck by asteroids and celestial bodies of a wide variety of sizes. Most are harmless and disintegrate as they enter the atmosphere, but there are others that have been catastrophic. The best known example is the meteorite that killed the dinosaurs, but it is not the only one. In 1944, the comet Shoemaker-Levy 9 passed through our solar system, where it broke into pieces. 21 fragments were attracted by Jupiter and crashed there. The interesting thing is that some of these fragments were more than 2 kilometers long. If it had fallen on Earth, it would have caused a huge disaster and would have seriously threatened life. Comets like the Shoemaker-Levy 9 pass through all the time, but some are dangerous and run the risk of bumping into us. Get ready because today we will see some comets that could be a problem for Earth, and although this risk is not so big, NASA watches them closely. Comet Swift-Tuttle, August 14, 2126. This comet was discovered by Lewis Schiff and Horace Parnell Tuttle in July 1962. The Swift Tuttle completes its orbit in 133 terrestrial years, and its diameter is about 23 kilometers. Shortly after its discovery, it was discovered that the date of its perihelion, the time of the orbit in which it is closest to the Sun, would be August 14, 2126. According to astronomers' calculations, the comet would pass so close to the Earth that it would run the risk of hitting it and, well, killing them all. Fortunately, further research by amateur Gary W. Kronk confirmed that the actual date of the perihelion of the Swift-Tuttle comet would be August 24, 2126. At that time, the Earth will be so far away from the comet's trajectory that there will be no threat. Comet Tempel-1 It was discovered by astronomer Wilhelm Tempel in 1867. Today, thanks to the Hubble Space Telescope and the Spitzer, it is known to be about 14 kilometers long. At the time it was discovered, it was calculated that it reached its perihelion every 5.68 years. However, observations in 1881 noted something strange. Now, its orbit was six and a half years. The cause was soon known. Every so often, Temple 1 approaches Jupiter, whose gravitational field causes it to deviate a little from its orbit. That is why the perihelion moved away from the Earth by 50 million kilometers. This resulted in the comet being lost from the sight of the astronomers of the time, who assumed that it had been lost in the void and had disintegrated. In the 20th century, in the 1960s, Brian G. Marsden found Temple 1 again, thanks to a complicated set of calculations based on Jupiter's alterations. It was then discovered that its orbit stabilized at 5.5 years. However, in 2005, NASA sent a sonar to a somewhat mysterious mission. The mission was called Deep Impact, and its objective was to get Deep Impact close enough to launch an impact projectile, in other words, a missile, against the comet. According to NASA, the explosion would momentarily illuminate the surface of the comet, and Deep Impact would record the entire event. This was done, leaving a crater 200 meters in diameter and 50 meters deep. But here comes the most interesting thing. Although the US government has denied the accusations, some claim that the entire mission was nothing more than a facade to divert Temple 1 from a terrible collision with planet Earth. Comet Enki, year 2022. Comet Enki was discovered in 1786 by Pierre Machain. It completes its orbit around the Sun every 3.3 years, and its nucleus has a diameter of 4.8 kilometers, not so large compared to other comets on this list. However, between 2005 and 2015, the Astronomical Institute of Sciences of the Czech Republic discovered something terrifying. According to its astronomers, every time Enki passes close to Earth, it does so at a minimum distance in astronomical measurements. The next time it passes near Earth, it will be in 2022, and Czech scientists say that if for some reason its orbit varies a few kilometers, the consequences would be catastrophic for us. Despite this, we should not fear. 
as the trajectory should not change. What is really worrying is that recently it was discovered that the comet drags behind it a tail of space debris, some between 200 and 300 meters. This debris does not follow an exact orbit and we run the risk that some of them will enter the Earth's atmosphere in October 2022. In fact, it has happened before. Recently, on November 3rd, 2018, an asteroid carried by the comet Enki entered the Earth's atmosphere, causing a great luminosity. It was seen in the early hours of the morning all over southern Spain, making it day in the middle of night. Luckily, no catastrophe occurred as the object disintegrated before touching the ground. But this gives us an idea of what could happen in 2022 if the trajectory of the fragments changes. In addition, Czech astronomers warn that similar phenomena could occur in 2025, 2032, and 2039. Comet Donati, year 3797. Comet Donati was discovered on September 30, 1858 by the Italian Giovanni Battista Donati. It has the post as the first comet photographed. Since the same year of its discovery, it was visible without the need for telescopes. In fact, it developed a long tail of dust and debris that was quite spectacular. Concerning its orbital period, there are quite a few inconsistencies. Originally, it was thought to reach its perihelion every 1739 years, but others claim that it actually does so every 1880 years. Some even claim it is every 1950 years. Then, the Donati would pass near the Earth between the years of 3738 and 3808. Until now, all is well. But do you know the predictions of Nostradamus? Probably, yes. It turns out that according to Nostradamus, the end of the world will occur in the year 3797. Perhaps you didn't notice it, but that year is in the time range that the comet Donati is estimated to pass close to Earth. Pretty terrifying, don't you think? Space is so large that it is beyond human comprehension and millions and millions of dangers lurk in it. Comets, more than a beautiful spectacle, can be destructive. But for now, we can only trust our scientists and hope for the best. <laughs>